What up, y'all? Oh. Oh, man, oh, man. <clears throat> Just getting out of the house and heading to work. It's uh, seven o'clock. The uh, clock on my <coughs> shit. Case <coughs> for my phone and it won't fit in the damn uh, jobby mount on the windshield. So I got to put you in this other mount. <clears throat> Which it, <clears throat> this mount up here is typically what I put the phone in when, uh, when I'm watching. Oh, there's Scott Pearson texting me back. On this travel day today. <clears throat> Damn, been a uh, been some kind of virus going around the house for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Damn it. My throat and chest are all screwed up. It was all all in the throat there for a while. Now it's finally moving to my chest. <clears throat> so but everything's been alright. Yeah, it's it's been pretty nasty. Of course many people it, is in our house it just keeps fucking going around and around it's it's hard a lot of times for us to get over it somebody else gets it then the next person gets it while the other person's getting over it and it just fucking goes full circle man it's it sucks sometimes because you'll get the damn cold back before your body's fully got antibodies for it so yeah now this was uh this was rhinovirus, uh, which uh, it's pretty typical virus, but uh, it kicks your ass pretty good. So it is what it is. Uh, hey, you. How you guys been? Uh, it's a pretty gloomy day here. It stormed its ass off a couple times yesterday. Um, it's supposed to be cloudy all day. High of 54 today. Mm. It's going to be pretty chilly. Uh, <clears throat> but I don't think it's supposed to rain. It's just supposed to be cloudy. Yeah, I saw that this morning, Adam. I have 65. Dang. It's a heat wave up there. Shit. Then again, it was like 75 to 80 degrees Saturday and Sunday here, so um, we were pretty spoiled this weekend. <clears throat> I did get a new tank and found a new juice this weekend that's pretty fucking amazing. Oh my god, this stuff's great. It's, it's uh, primarily strawberry. Uh, kind of like a strawberry cereal milk juice. Oh my god, it's good. We're already getting on the highway here. Whee! Oh, that's a cool lady. <clears throat> I mean, 55. Uh, so yeah, not a whole lot new with uh, with us uh, the new job's been going well uh, I got a vehicle at the house that I'm working on right now um, pulling the engine harness off of this 2002 Monte Carlo SS yeah cigarettes are expensive Brad and they're at the devil Cigarettes are bad, okay? Uh, good morning. Con, how's it going, buddy? 
But yeah, vaping is uh, vaping is much better. And once you get over the initial cost of the setup, then uh, hello Tara, then um, the juice is actually relatively cheap. A lot cheaper than cigarettes. eight days it's not even supposed to hit 50 holy shit Adam yeah we're up uh, we're in the mid 50s until Friday Friday it drops down to 44 uh, at least that's what the forecast says right now I'm sure that'll change what's up Rob's wrenches how you doing buddy oh man this that's what I do Tara thanks though I, I'm always careful I swear, at, at first, you know, I used to stream twice a day every day, and I swear to God, everybody subscribed to me just so that they, you know, they could see when I'd wreck. But there were there were bets being placed there for a while. Now, this crazy bastard driving in morning and afternoon rush hour traffic and streaming, he's going to wreck at some point. <laughs> I hear you, Brad. Yeah, it was, uh, it was like almost 80 yesterday here, and it was like 78 on Saturday too, so uh, we were pretty spoiled. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, for those of you who don't know, uh, a couple of people that appear to be new to the channel, so yeah, I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, we're in South County right now, we're coming up on uh, Revis Barracks and 55. I, uh, I got a little road rage too. Just you wait. Uh, I try not to get crazy on my live stream, but uh, <laughs> sometimes you just can't help the stupid people around you. At 31, it's getting cold. Yeah, that, uh, that'd be pretty damn dangerous there, Adam. Streaming and riding a, on, a, on two wheels, that's... I don't think I would do that. Then again, I, I'm not a rider, so... I wouldn't, uh, I would not be all that comfortable on two wheels in Colorado. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, part of Colorado, Brad. I used to drive from Laramie, uh, Wyoming to Colorado Springs. Uh, I did that for about nine months through the winter. Whew. Yeah, we just, we've had a couple of frosts here in St. Louis already, uh, overnight, of course, but uh, nothing too crazy yet. Oh, Adam, something I did do, um, I subscribed to AVE's uh, Patreon uh, for $2 a month. It's actually pretty damn cool. Um, he releases a lot of videos, dude. Like, I think he puts a lot out on there, and then uh, depending on the comments and questions, he, he actually doesn't always post the Patreon videos to YouTube. Sometimes he'll, he'll retract them for a little bit, maybe do a little more editing before he puts them to YouTube, which is kind of cool. He is a fucking genius. The guy's awesome. I love that guy. But, uh, yeah, for $2 a month, dude, the Patreon's pretty cool. I gotta say, um, he's, so far, he's the only person on YouTube I've, I've even considered paying for content, but... No, two bucks a month ain't bad at all, man. And dude, he like he puts out quite a few damn videos. 
I think he, I mean, from the 23rd through the 31st, I think he put six or seven videos on, um, on Patreon. But then he also, he did put some videos to YouTube that I didn't see on Patreon. I think they were some much, much earlier videos. Like I said, I think he takes them down and, uh, he'll do some editing and stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, definitely he's, he's got like, I can't remember how many subscribers or followers he has on Patreon, but he should be making a good six or seven thousand dollars a month on Patreon, <laughs> which is that's fucking badass. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what Patreon's cut is of that, but just considering two dollars a month per the number of subscribers he has, plus there's and two dollars is the minimum. I know for a fact there's a ton of people on there that pay more than just two dollars a month, and I actually intend on on upping that to maybe three to five dollars a month, just because his content is that that awesome. And there's a whole nother uh, comment section, so the those videos that he puts on Patreon have their own comment section before they go to YouTube, which is pretty cool too. So. <laughs> <clears throat> For those of you who are not familiar with the YouTube channel AVE, um, <laughs> do yourself a big favor and go check it out. That guy is awesome. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're into, you'll get a kick out of that guy. <clears throat> Damn. This shit has moved into my chest hardcore. I apologize. I know I sound probably disgusting right now. <laughs> 11, 11,681 followers on Patreon. Oh, yeah, then he's making, I mean, before Patreon takes a cut, that's at least 22, almost 23,000, well, $23,000 a month. That's ridiculous. Good morning, Scott. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm off the highway now and, and cutting through the uh, side roads to get over to the shop, so I'm, I'm not able to read the comments as, as quickly. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn it. people say an average of four dollars considering not everyone has the base subscription that's 40 yeah yeah dude I mean that's whew. he's doing just fine then again like I said I don't know what Patreon's cut is but I would imagine it's not putting too much of a dent in each subscription Yeah. Yeah, he's he's doing pretty good. Hmm. Dude, this new juice is fucking sick. So where's my fat Hawaiian buddy? Oso, you in here? Budget tools, my vape, my vape buddy. So this is the uh, the new juice that I'm on. Triple X. God dang, it's good. It's by Chain Vapes. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And I got a new super tank with uh, with a new tip. It's pretty sweet. Busy. I have not been, man, I I went and turned my notifications off on that a while back, and uh, I'm sorry, I have not been active in the, uh, in the group message. I'd been neglecting the family life there for a little while. I had to stop that. So... Oh, and it is no shave November, so uh, I haven't shaved in like three days. 
what is today? Yeah, today's the sixth, so yeah, three or four days. Good times. Um, new job's going good. Um, I switched out. I got rid of my. Uh, well, there is that, Adam. <laughs> I uh, I switched out of my Matco um, cordless stuff. I sold that stuff uh, yesterday, the day before. I sold it Saturday night. I sold my Matco 3/8 impact two batteries charger and my Matco cordless ratchet two batteries and charger both uh, 16 volt and uh, sold them for 300 bucks for the two so it's basically buy one get one free for for the guy that I sold them to um, anyway um, I switched out to the Milwaukee 3 8 impact um, just because that thing's it's got more balls it's a 18 volt and it actually will take lug nuts off so uh, there's a little tool update for those of you who are interested but yeah I got the Milfucky. Um it's great I do like it um, I kind of feel like there's two different models of the 3 8 impact though and it seems like I might have gotten the smaller of the two, which uh, I've only had it for a week, so I may be able to change that. I mean, for the price point, dude, it's it's way better, honestly. I think it was like 400 and I got, I actually got a cordless vacuum, what the fuck do I need that for, um, a flashlight and the impact, two batteries and a charger, and a carrying case, of course, I don't know if I got a bag or a blow molded case, he still has to get that for me, and the vacuum, so. Is it really four different 3 8 impacts? If, dude, if this is like the lowest end one and I paid that much for it, I'm going to be pretty pissed off and I'm going to tell him to take it back and uh, I'll figure out somewhere else to get the fucking, the higher powered ones. This one does have the three different um, power levels. Um, it does have that. So... I am, uh, one thing I am really disappointed in, actually, with it, is the thing is brand new, out of the box, and the feckin' battery wiggles, like, a lot. The battery wiggles a lot inside the, in the bottom of the drill, or the bottom of the impact. I was quite disappointed in the, uh, in the execution of that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to the Cornwall guy when, uh, hopefully he shows up this week. He should show up this week, so. What's up, Bobby? I saw a, a video notification for a birthday thing yesterday. Was it your birthday, buddy? If so, happy birthday. I did not actually get to see the video yet. Oh. 
Oh man. I did watch you a bit of your video um you in the truck last week. Um I'm driving you had to get into a fucking it was a bulldozer. That's something you'd like you dropped off the load and then you had to get in the damn bulldozer and go uh tear some shit up for a minute. That was pretty cool. I kind of miss building retaining walls because I got to drive the the Bobcat and the mini excavator. That shit was fun. Oh, it was the little girl's birthday. Right on. Well, happy birthday to her, man. Heck yeah. Oh, fuck. So if it wasn't for all these damn stoplights, my drive to work would actually be a lot shorter. Um, but I don't have to get on the highway nearly as much as uh, as I did going out to Craven. I don't have to sit in that bumper to bumper. Yeah, dude, I love the mini excavators. They're a ton of fun. and uh, You can get them in a lot of places, and that was... That was one of my things, is I, I would take the mini excavator places that uh, the other guys were were too sketched out to take it. Like, really steep hills and shit, and they just, uh, they they couldn't grasp the concept of having the the arm all the way out and having your blade down on the other side to, to keep you from tipping over and shit. And, I don't know, I'd, I'd take that fucking thing into some serious places, straddling straddling trenches and going over trenches and all kinds of shit. Like, uh, that was a ton of fun. But yeah, exactly. That's why you have the bucket. I mean, uh, that's the whole point. Like, they couldn't, they couldn't grasp the concept of putting your bucket over across a trench and using it to slide it on the ground to keep you from, from dropping into a trench. Like, you could go over a trench, no problem. You just had to not be a fucking idiot. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, yeah. Some people's kids, man. I don't know. They're the good times. <sighs> then I showed them how to, how to load it on the trailer without dicking with the damn ramps, pulling the ramps all out and all that crap. They, yeah. They, they couldn't get the damn bobcat up on the trailer either without dragging the, the ramps out from under the trailer and getting them all set up and shit. I'm like, dude, those things are heavy. I'm not lifting that shit. Like, <laughs> this thing will drive on there, no problem. Watch this. I didn't drink while I was at work, or I would have told him to hold my beer. <laughs> it was definitely, you know, that's, that's one of those hold my beer and watch this moments, but... Sorry guys, that's one hell of a bumpy little road. Morning, knockers. Okay, so there's there's three M18s. Yeah, guy, that, this is how this works. One goes, the other goes, then the other goes. Yeah, I just cut that dude off something fierce, and he's probably not happy about that. I don't care. He obviously didn't learn how stop signs work. Uh, things been going good, buddy. Uh, been a, I haven't been streaming the last couple weeks because we've had this damn rhino virus going around and around and around. Awesome, Adam. So we got a 26, 2658, 2754, and a 5758. Holy oh shit. 2658, 2754, and a 2758. Okay. Emma's third birthday party. Right on, man. So it sounds like the 27 or the yeah, the 2758 is probably the one I want, which is is most likely their heavier anvil, bigger motor, bigger housing, 
probably a little heavier, but I'll have to check and see which one I've got when I get to the shop. Um, yeah, like I said, this one, you know, and I didn't, obviously I didn't put a battery in it until I got back to my toolbox in the shop and the fucking cornhole guy had already left. So, <clears throat> um, I'll, uh, I'll check it out when I get back, when I get to the shop. I just know that little Matco one that I had just didn't have any balls. 210 foot-pounds. Yeah, see, I, I think that's what mine's rated at. Uh, knockers, I work... Uh, n I'm not at the custom shop anymore. I left the Craven Performance, and I'm now uh, working at Schaefer Auto Body. I'm the only mechanic at a body shop. Over in that other lane. Gonna do that right meow. <laughs> um, so the reasons I left, the reasons I went to this shop, it's uh, it's a lot closer to the house. Um, less hours, more pay, benefits, 401k after a year, paid time off. I earn a day of paid time off every month that I'm there. Every <laughs> Oh, sorry, toothpick. Sorry, guys. I'm sure that was loud. Um, also, paid holidays. So. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, the uh, the body guys do a lot of the mechanical work, which is kind of crazy. Uh, the only stuff that I'm there for is doing, like, um, dog legs or knees, whatever you want to call it, which would be like a, a strut, knuckle, and lower control arm or upper lower control arm, knuckle, um, CV axles, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> For the most part, you know, and alignments. Um, I'm primarily there just to do alignments on all these vehicles that get hit. Um, and wheels and tires. But, uh, uh, yeah, I really, dude, I mean, shit, the first week I was there, I might have done six book hours but got paid for 40 hours I know it's a salary position so that's pretty kick-ass uh, I mean I've I've been going around trying to help out the uh, we got two teams of body guys <clears throat> so I've been trying to help them out with you know whatever I can I don't want to do their work for them but you know they got extra stuff or I could if I can help them turn some hours by actually doing something instead of standing at my toolbox all fucking day I right, dude I've watched I've watched probably three or four different movies now like full movies standing at my toolbox waiting for fucking something to get towed in so I can work on something right, shit, there's <laughs> not a whole lot of work and the stuff that does come in it's basically you know racket check the alignment um, if the alignment's off if it's way out of spec then obviously start looking for bent or broken parts <laughs> uh, no I don't want to do an alignment on your truck Adam <laughs> quite honestly no uh, most of the time it's just toe and go if if there's something real wrong with caster or camber then I know I need to start looking into bent parts um, and whatnot but so far I haven't had to do much much of anything too crazy. Yeah, and I mean the the vehicles we got here in St. Louis, we're in the rust belt too. I mean, it is what it is. Um, man, guys, the leaves right now are just amazing. Just uh, give you guys a little little shot of the leaves here in Old Webster as we drive to work in the neighborhood. <clears throat> Hello, lady. Like, look at this. Oh my god, these trees are beautiful. <clears throat> we got some real good, good reds coming up here. 
Another nice bright orange one. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean they're they're falling quick here, Adam. But I mean these trees are are changing real fast. I mean, just this past week, uh, a, a week ago, everything was take it easy, Bobby. Have a great day, man. Um, just a week ago, all the leaves on all the trees were were still, you know, super bright green, and <clears throat> now everything is pretty much changing. They're not dark green anymore. I love... Damn, you guys can't see that one. I'm not going to get to it in time, but... <clears throat> I love some of the trees. They they change partially. Like, the inner leaves are still nice and dark green, but then they, they got reds and oranges all around the outer edges of the tree, man. It's pretty cool. Um, this year has been really good for, for the leaf changes. Um, last year we didn't get very much cool colors everything uh, just kind of went from went from green to brown and on the ground um, <clears throat> this year we actually had a couple of couple of cold nights but warm days so everything everything actually changed over pretty nice which is cool so Almost had a tip slip. Rut row. Oh man, my coffee's almost gone. Oh no, it's not. I still got like half a cup. So. Alright, well, I'm gonna take you guys in with me. And uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about with this damn impact. <clears throat> Maybe do a quick little uh, toolbox tour. Because I have changed things up a little bit. And I'm I'm a bit early this morning. Was it fucking... Yeah, it's only 7.34, 7.33, so... Got some time. Right on, Scott, buddy. You have a great day, too, man. Thanks for checking on me. I appreciate it. Scott texted me this morning hoping everything was alright. He knew he hadn't seen me in a, in a couple weeks, so I appreciate that. Um, alright, let's get in the shop here real quick. Oh, this is the worst part about a fucking body shop. Holy old fact. Hang on, guys. Sorry, I'm sure that was kind of loud. Um, so I did finally get my busted knuckle garage mat. I've been wanting one of those for a long time. I did put a bunch more stickers on the uh, magnet sheets on the box. So, oh shit, I forgot I got uh, I got tools in the car I need to bring in. My sockets, my 3.8 sockets and quarter inch sockets aren't in here right now because I had to work on a car at the house. But okay, so. Arr. Let's see here. Let's take you guys in this. Uh, anyway, that's what I did. So, I don't know if you guys can get a good look at that or not, but look at the gap in that. I 
I just, I couldn't believe. Like, that's ridiculous. So yeah, quite a bit of fucking slop in that thing. For a brand new, out of the box fucking impact gun, that's ridiculous in my opinion. But I guess that's what separates, you know, the construction kind of equipment from the professional mechanic shit, like Snap-on and Matco. Dude, there's not ever have I had an issue like that with Snap-on or Matco's uh, cordless stuff. Um, I couldn't believe that. Uh, it's not the... I don't know if it's the battery or not. I don't think so because... Uh, I think it does do that in the... Uh, in the flashlight as well. Sorry guys, I'm trying to wipe off the, the drawers of my toolbox here. Um, Jesus Christ. Fucking dust in this place is insane. Yeah, I mean, she, she definitely got some weeble wobble in her. I've never ever had Milwaukee Tool um, where you don't have to wrestle the battery, but probably a defect. Huh. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it does it with both batteries, because I got two batteries. Um, let's see, fuck, I need to go back out to the car real quick and grab my tools. We'll carry the tools back in here. Um, we'll try the other battery real quick, but I'm pretty sure, um, it's the impact, not the battery. Oh, pardon me. Oh, pardon. Morning. Both my detailers are showing up right now. All right, so, grab the old tool bag. And get this back up to the shop. Oh shit, I gotta grab my juice while I'm down here too. Yeah. All right. So I am kind of disappointed that we don't really have a snap on fucking guy at this shop I mean there is a snap-on dealer for this area and I guess he comes by whenever he wants yeah yeah for sure knockers and uh, tomorrow is tool tool truck day here we got Mac and uh, cornhole that come by on Tuesday so Ed, the uh, Cornwell guy, should be here tomorrow, which is who I got the uh, the Milwaukee Impact from. So, uh, he gets here tomorrow. I will definitely be talking to him about it. Be like, hey, dude, that's kind of janky, you know, especially for $400 for this fucking kit, this setup. <sighs> yeah, I do need to do that, Rob. That's a great idea, man. So let's see, here is, so here's the uh, the flashlight. She got some weeble wobble in her too, man. Not as much. But I mean, it's still, it's there. It's way more so in the, uh... I mean, look at that. Look at the lines. Uh, they did come off the, uh, off the cornhole truck. 
No, but if they came from uh, Home Depot, I would have already taken that shit back. Ooh, cold tools. Fucking tools been in my car all weekend. They're about frozen. Get all my stuff put back in my drawer here. Back into my toolbox. Okay, so, um, back to the toolbox tour. Yeah, um, so I did change up the top. Um, this is where these go now. Put those in there. Um, I did put some lighting in the top drawer now. I bought a new, a big roll of uh, the LEDs. I got the idea from, uh... oh yeah, Disco Time. I got this idea from uh, TJ, actually. TJ told me about uh, all the different LEDs on the eBay, on the cheap cheap, so I, uh, I went ahead and got some uh, some LEDs and got them hooked up in the box. So pretty cool. And then the second drawer is just wrenches now. And this drawer is back to screwdrivers and pliers stuff. This drawer is hammers, punches, pickle forks. And then this drawer, obviously, is... Um, I have gotten a couple of things from Mac. Just to show you guys real quick. E-Torx. So a nice little set. I colored these in. I colored in the numbers little easier to see it goes uh, the set goes from e4 all the way to e24 I think it was about 90 bucks and then some uh, 12 points pretty sweet little set goes from uh, six millimeter I believe these are impact rated also so it goes from six millimeter all the way up to 16 millimeter. So triple square, in, you know, whatever you want to call it. I did get those. I think that was, each of those were about 90 to 100 bucks for the set. Um, I did end up getting, I went and got a cheap uh, cutoff wheel and clutch. Uh, this drawer hasn't changed a whole lot. And then I did move my power drawer stuff from this drawer over to this drawer. So I've got my power strip in there and my charger for the Milfucky stuff. Um, and that's because my outlet is on this side. And I don't have to move my box anymore, guys. So then this drawer became loaded with everything else I don't use. And this stupid fucking plate that whatever and I got my interior tools all in here uh, you know pens markers paint pens catch-all my receipts and this one's pretty much empty at this point so there you go
quick little uh, update. Other than that, man, not a whole heck of a lot going on. Uh, so, this is my bay right here. I'm the only one with a lift in this building. Um, and we got uh, priming goes on over in this area behind me, behind that uh, curtain. That's where all the priming gets done. Then they come right over here into this yellow section on the floor. They get uh, scuffed for the paint booth. There's my Hunter alignment machine. I get to do alignments on tables, guys. I don't have a drive-on rack. Figure that one out. That's a lot of fun. Um, and then the paint booth is ahead of me. And this is my parts guy. And then there's two more uh, people in that office who work with the insurance companies and do adjust work with the adjusters and shit. And the cars come right here. This is the last step before they turn the corner into the paint booth. And then my detailers, where this Jeep is, that's where they wash all the cars. And then they, they pull them in, they wash them, detail them, and back them right back out. Um, so, yep. And then there's a, a shop all the way past the uh, primer area and on the other side of the paint booth where the two, each team of the uh, body guys are at. Yeah, exactly, knockers. Sorry, I didn't see your comment until just now, but yeah. Yep, comes with a built-in step stool for all the little midgets. Um, really, I mean, they're, they're in and out with those cars so quick, detail on it, they don't have a chance to get dusty. Well, no, most, most of the, uh, the body sanding and, and uh, body filler sanding is done in the other two shops on either side. The sanding that gets done in here is, is basically just primer, you know, just getting scuffed for the paint booth. So, yeah, there's still quite a bit of dust, but uh, it's not like if they were in the, uh, the actual body shops where those guys are sanding filler and, and all kinds of shit all day long. Uh, Why are you looking at this one? YouTube live streaming we used to live stream every day to and from work all the people that watch me have been wondering where the hell I've been so. say hi Mark <laughs> anyway that was Mark one of our body guys anyway um, I'm gonna go get clocked in guys and uh, I'll try to uh, I'll try to remember to stream this afternoon yeah, Mark's, a, Mark's an old school cat. He's been here for 17 years at this shop. Uh, so he's been doing this for a little bit. Yes, you as well, Adam. Have a productive day, guys. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Deuces.